Torque and Couple Objectives To know the knowledge and understanding the concept of torque. To know the knowledge and understanding the concept of couple. Now we shall discuss about torque. Torque Look at this example. When a toy bus is held firmly by placing a finger on its top and the horizontal force is applied at one of the ends of the toy such that the force is perpendicular to its length. It starts rotating above the fixed finger. Look at this example. Consider the door of your classroom and try to turn or rotate it by applying force at various points on the door. We find it difficult if the point of application of force is nearer to the axis of rotation or hinges. And if the force is applied exactly on the hinges, the door cannot move. Look at this example. Have you observed that? A tight wheel nut cannot be unscrewed by the bare hand, but the same can be done quite easily using a jockey rod or a spanner. These examples suggest that rotating effect is decided not only by the magnitude of applied force, but also perpendicular distance of the force. When lever arm length is doubled, it is seen that the effort of force required to turn the nut is halved. Moreover, if direction of force is reversed, the sense of rotation will also be reversed. Further analysis reveals another interesting point. If F is applied parallel to lever arm of spanner, it is observed that there is no turning effect. And if F is applied at an angle theta to lever arm, the component F sine theta alone participates in rotating the system. Hence, the rotational analogue of force is moment of force. It is also referred to as torque. Torque or moment of force. Definition It is defined as the turning effect of a force about a fixed point and is measured as the product of magnitude of force and the perpendicular distance of line of action of the force from the fixed point. Let a force F acts on a single particle at a point P in toy plane, whose position vector with respect to the origin O is R bar. The magnitude of moment of the force or torque of the force F about the point O is given by tau is equal to force into perpendicular distance of the force from the axis of rotation tau is equal to force into r perpendicular that is tau is equal to r cross f from figure sine theta is equal to r perpendicular by r that implies r perpendicular is equal to r sine theta therefore tau is equal to f r sine theta R is magnitude of position vector. F is magnitude of the force F. Theta is the angle between R and F. Torque of the force F about a point O in vector form is given by tau is equal to R cross F. The direction of torque is perpendicular to the plane containing both R and F. Its direction can be determined by using right hand thumb rule. Moment of force is a vector. The CGS unit of moment of force, torque, is di in centimeter. The SI unit of moment of force, torque, is newton meter, nm. The dimensional formula of moment of force is ml square t inverse square. Its dimensions are the same as those of work or energy. It is, however, work. The magnitude of tau of a force F acting at a point P with respect to O depends on R, F and theta. Note 1. For a given value of R and F, torque, tau, is maximum when theta is equal to 90 degree. 
tau maximum is equal to RF. Note 2. For given value tau is 0, where theta is equal to 0 degree, that is, line of action at force passing through point O. Example. 1. Torque of force F acting at point A with respect to O is given by tau is equal to Ra cross F is equal to Ra F sine theta where theta is the angle between Ra and F. 2. Torque of force F acting at a point A with respect to the B. Tau is equal to Ra minus Rb cross F is equal to Ra minus Rb. Torque on a rigid body about an axis. In case of a single particle, if a single force or number of force acting on the particle, then the torque due to determined by the formula tau is equal to R cross F net. In case of a rigid body, in a single force or number of forces acting on it at different positions, then the torque is determined by using tau is equal to R1 cross F1 plus R2 cross F2 plus so on. Therefore, tau is equal to R1 cross F1 plus R2 cross F2 plus R3 cross F3 plus so on. Or tau is equal to tau 1 plus tau 2 plus tau 3 plus so on. Note, if the force vector possesses or passes through the axis of rotation, torque produced by a force about that axis case B0. Note, moment of force or torque which tends to produce rotation in anticlockwise direction is taken as positive, whereas the moment of force which tends to produce rotation in clockwise direction is taken as negative.